Sitius, Altius, Fortius, meaning faster, higher, stronger. Over the past century, we've seen athletes that have completely obliterated all sporting expectations. But who is the fastest, the highest, and the strongest of them all? Before we jump into our picks of the greatest track and field athletes ever, we wanted to share a few important details concerning this list. First, we'll be considering multiple factors when choosing these athletes. Obviously, we'll be looking at Olympic and World Championship performances, but world records and world rankings will also be considered. In addition to these statistics, we'll be reviewing an athlete's overall sporting influence as well as their career longevity. While it is certainly incredible to be the undisputed best in the world for a year or two, it's all the more impressive to hold that title for five, six, or even seven years. Some athletes on this list have even held this elite status for well over a decade. Next, it's very important to realize that competing in, say, the 1920s or the 1930s is very different than competing today. These athletic and cultural changes very much impact the athletic accomplishments of each person, therefore we'll also be considering the total context behind each sporting achievement. Lastly, we just wanted to say that this list is subjective. It's very likely that your list will look different from ours, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Now without further ado, here is our list for the top 20 greatest track and field athletes of all time. Number 20, Sebastian Coe, Middle Distance Running. If you wanted to create the ideal 800 and 1500 meter runner, you would have an athlete almost identical to Sebastian Coe. Considered by many to be the most revolutionary middle distance runner ever, Coe combined supreme strength with astonishing speed. At face value, Coe didn't seem like much of a threat, as he stood at only 175 centimeters and he weighed a mere 54 kilograms. However, the moment he started running, everything changed. Throughout his career, Coe broke 12 world records ranging from the 800 meters up to the one mile distance, and in 1979, he managed to set three world records in the span of 41 days. These new records included the 800 meters, the one mile distance, and to cap off this incredible hot streak, Coe broke the 1500 meter world record on August 15th of 1979. Perhaps Coe's greatest world record came on June 10th of 1981, when he smashed his own 800 meter record with a time of 1 minute 41.73 seconds. This record stood for a remarkable 16 years, making it one of the longest lasting track and field records ever. These world record times are certainly amazing, however his Olympic career was equally as impressive. In 1980, he placed first in the 1500, and he also won the silver in the 800 meters. Four years later in the Los Angeles Olympics, Ko again won the gold in the 15, followed by a solid silver in the 800. Although he struggled through much of his 1983 season with extended hospitalizations, Ko still returned to the highest stage with fantastic performances. Ko's running was completely decade-defining for the 1980s, and very few runners have ever managed to run the 800 as well as the 1500 with such dominance. Number 19, Javier Sotomayor, the men's high jump. If you're looking for the greatest male high jumper of all time, look no further than this Cuban legend. To this day, Sotomayor still remains as the only athlete to ever clear the 8-foot barrier, which in the metric system is roughly 2.43 meters. Alright, wait, pause the video. You're telling me that this man jumps his entire body over that bar? That can't be. Alright, go ahead and play it. <laughs> what? From 1988 to the year 2000, all athletes from around the world feared this man. He was so good and so consistent, the victory was almost guaranteed. From 1989 onwards, he won seven global titles, and to this day he still holds the outdoor world record as well as the indoor world record. Unfortunately for Sotomayor, Cuba boycotted the 1984 and the 1988 Olympic Games, and given his personal bests for both of these seasons, it's very likely that he would have either won the Olympics outright, or at the very least won an Olympic medal. Since 1989, his world record has stood strong, making it far and away one of the longest enduring track and field records ever. Number 18, Hisham El Garouge, Middle Distance Running. I've said it before and I'll say it again, El Garouge is the greatest middle distance runner of all time. And would you look at that, Wikipedia agrees with me as well here. What made El Garouge so difficult to defeat 
was his courageous and ferocious racing tactics. Recently, it seems as though the 1500 meters is all about the finishing kick, and while it is certainly entertaining to watch a sprint finish, El Garouge rarely allowed anyone to challenge him with one lap to run. Throughout his career, El Garouge held the world's number one ranking in the 1500 meters seven times, and during this stretch, he also managed to break five world records ranging from the 15 up to the 2000. The only glaring shortcoming in his career was the Olympic Games. In 1996, he tragically fell with one lap to go, and four years later in the 2000 Olympics, he placed second behind his Kenyan rival Noah Nini. Although second place is still remarkable, this silver medal was considered a huge upset, but the 2004 Olympics would be ever so sweet, as this talented Moroccan would accomplish something that only one other athlete has ever achieved. In the Athens Games, El Garouge finally won the 1500 meter gold with a time of 3 minutes 34.19 seconds. Although this time is much slower than his personal best, this victory was achieved with supreme confidence as El Garouge led for the entire final 800 meters, running the final two laps in a staggering time of 1 minute 46.89 seconds. Following this epic gold medal, just four days later, he doubled down to win the 5,000 meter title, taking down his fiercely competitive rivals in Kenanis Bukele and Elliot Kipchoge. In total, El Garouge won nine world titles in a nine year span, and he's held the 1500 and mile world record for over 20 years. Number 17, Perry O'Brien, the men's shot put. Imagine a shot putter so famous that he was on Time Magazine. Well, that happened and it was well-deserved for Perry O'Brien. Credited with being the most revolutionary shot putter of all time, O'Brien implemented a new strategy that forever changed his event. Instead of facing forward like all competitors before him, he used a new gliding method where he turned his body 180 degrees to throw the ball. How effective was this method exactly? Well, he broke the world record 17 times and he went undefeated for 116 straight competitions. From 1953 to 1959, this American beast was completely unbeatable, and at 189 centimeters and 111 kilograms, he was a formidable and extremely intimidating athlete on the field. In both 1952 and in 1956, he won the Olympics easily, winning by approximately 50 centimeters in both competitions. After nearly a decade of complete control in his event, he finally lost in the 1960 Olympics, but he still placed second in this event, so he was clearly still one of the best athletes in the world. To this day, many athletes still use the O'Brien Glide, however nobody has ever had such an enormous impact on this event, quite like Perry O'Brien. Number 16, Yolanda Balish, the women's high jump. From 1957 to 1966, Balish set the all-time longest winning streak in track and field history. Over these nine years, Balish won 154 straight competitions, which is a feat that nobody else in track and field has ever matched. This winning streak is certainly incredible, but her Olympic and world record achievements are equally as impressive. In the 1960 and the 1964 Olympics, Balish won the gold medals, winning both competitions by at least 10 centimeters. These Olympic victories are great examples of her complete dominance over the high jump, but perhaps even more sensational is the fact that she broke the world record on 14 separate occasions, ultimately improving the world record from 1.75 meters up to an impressive 1.91 meters. Never before did Romania have such a successful and enduring Olympic champion, and in 2004, Balish was placed on the Romanian stamp, and while this doesn't necessarily reflect greatness, it kind of does also. After her world record jump in 1961, Balish held the record for a full decade. To this day, few athletes have had such an illustrious track career, and although she utilized a slightly less than efficient high jump technique, she would still be competitive against any competition today. Number 15, Michael Johnson, the men's 200 and 400 meters. When it comes to Olympic greatness, Johnson is without question one of the all-time best in his events. But what makes him so elite and so revolutionary was his consistency and his world record performances. From 1992 to the year 2000, Johnson was practically unbeatable in both the 200 and the 400. And if we look at his Olympic and World Championship record, the pure gold tells a powerful story. 
In all of his competitions, Johnson only brought home the gold medal. This is already an extremely rare accomplishment, but his world records certainly reflect his complete domination over his events. In the 1996 Olympic Games, he completely shattered the previous world record in the 200, running a time of 19.32 seconds. This record would stand for over 12 years, and as impressive as this is, Johnson's 400 meter record of 43.18, which he set in 1999, stood for a remarkable 17 years. To this day, he is the only athlete to ever accomplish the 200 meter and 400 meter double in the same Olympics. Number 14, Al Order, the men's discus. To put it simply, Order was a freak of nature, epitomizing power, technique, and perfect timing. At 192 centimeters and 125 kilograms, he redefined the possibilities in the discus. At the young age of 20, he won his first ever Olympic gold medal, throwing almost two meters beyond all of his competitors. And although this was a tremendous achievement, his dominance would stretch for the next 12 years, as he won four consecutive Olympic golds in this event. To this day, he is one of only two track and field athletes to ever accomplish this amazing feat, and one of only three athletes in any sport to achieve this. This achievement is so rare and so unbelievable that he was inducted into the World Athletics Federation Hall of Fame, which is a very exclusive group of only 48 athletes as of 2014. Beyond his untouchable Olympic record, Order broke the world record four times, throwing his last world record of 62.94 meters on April 25th of 1964. Number 13, Wilma Rudolph, the women's 100 and 200 meters. Considered by many to be the most iconic female track and field athlete of the 20th century, Rudolph became the first American to win three gold medals in a single Olympics. Despite contracting pneumonia, scarlet fever, and polio as a young child, Rudolph never lost faith in her abilities as an athlete. At the young age of 16, she entered the 1956 Olympics and brought home a bronze medal in the 4x100 meter relay. Just four years later, at the young age of 20, she won the 100 meter final, the 200 meter final, and the 4x100 meter relay. This incredible triple gold, which was widely broadcasted throughout the entire world, made her an overnight international celebrity, and although she was still only 20 years old, Rudolph single-handedly represented the endless possibilities for black female athletes everywhere. For much of her athletic career, Rudolph experienced many struggles with racism, but her strong resolve and competitive drive took her to the highest of stages where she was ultimately victorious. In addition to her Olympic victories, she held world records for the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and the 4x100 meter relay. Many athletes credit Rudolph as being their primary source for athletic inspiration. Athletes such as Florence Griffith Joyner, Gail Devers, Jackie Joyner Kersey, and also Allison Felix have mentioned Wilma Rudolph. Just two years after her Olympic victories in 1960, Rudolph retired from track and field, realizing that running was not as important as civil rights. Number 12, Florence Griffith Joyner, the women's 100 and 200 meters. If you're looking for the fastest woman of all time, look no further than Flojo. In 1988, she single-handedly dismantled the previous world records in the 100 and the 200. Her performances were so fast and so revolutionary that they still stand today, and amazingly, nobody has ever even gotten close to her times. These personal bests are considered by many to be impossible, and although many speculate that the wind reading was incorrect during her 100 meter world record of 10.49 seconds, this record has now stood as the official record for over 30 years. In the 1988 Olympics, Flojo was beyond dominant. In the 100 meter final, she smiled and raised her arms to the sky in effortless execution, and for the 200 meter final, it was the exact same story, except this time, she shattered the world record with a time of 21.34 seconds. These records are so elite and so amazing that statistically, they are the most untouchable of all running performances ever. Number 11, Emil Zatopek, Distance Running. Nicknamed the Czech Locomotive, Zatopek was a revolutionary runner who never hesitated to take up a challenge. In 1952, he accomplished a never-before-seen triple gold medal in the 5,000, the 10,000, and in the marathon. 
According to legend, at the very last minute, Zatopek decided to jump into the marathon, because, you know, that's just something we all decide to do at the last minute. And despite large uncertainties around the race, Zatopek won by over two minutes, and in the process of winning the gold medal, he broke the previous Olympic record for the time of 2 hours 23 minutes and 2 seconds. This still blows my mind that this actually happened, but even more mind-bending is the fact that he broke 18 world records during his career, ranging in distances from the 5,000 meters up to the 30K. From 1948 to 1954, Zatopek went undefeated for 75 consecutive races, which is an achievement that places him 6th on the all-time longest winning streaks in track and field history.